Do you want to get started with serverless? In this video, we're going to tell you how to set up serverless with your AWS account. Hi, I'm Sam from Complete Coding, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect serverless to your AWS account so that you can deploy code from your machine. This is the first step in becoming a full stack developer using serverless. So we're going to jump into AWS right now and we'll show you how it's done. To start out, you'll need to log in to your AWS Amazon Management Console. If you haven't got an Amazon account, you can set up one now using the link on the screen or in the description below. Once you've logged in, we need to set up a user so that serverless can connect to our account. To do this, we search in the services for IAM, which is the identity and account and access management. And what we need to do is create a new user. So on the left hand side, click users and add user. This user is going to have a name of serverless account and we need to have programmatic access. This access allows us to use the SDKs and other CLI tools which will allow serverless to work with AWS. Next we go on to the permissions and with this we're going to attach an existing policy directly to the user and we're going to be selecting administrator access. This is because we want serverless to have full access to do whatever it needs, whether it's creating lambdas, S3 buckets, or anything else. We'll continue into tags, and this isn't something we need to set up for serverless, so we're gonna go into review. Now that we're in review, we can see we've got a serverless account username with programmatic access and it has administrator access. That is absolutely perfect. So we can now create this user. Now this user has been created, we can see that we have an access key ID and a secret access key. What we need to do is copy the access key and then move over into a terminal. Inside this terminal, we need to do two things. First, we need to install serverless and then we need to set up serverless with our credentials. To install serverless, do npm install minus g because we want this to be global and then it is serverless. And wait for this to install. This may take a little minute, so I'll get back to you when that is done. Now that serverless has finished installing, we can set up the credentials so that it can work on our AWS account. To do this, we type serverless config, and then we're setting credentials, and we're using a provider, so dash dash provider, and our provider is AWS. And now we need to provide a key, and this key is the key that we just got on the last page. So I'm going to paste that in there. And then as well as that, we need to set our secret. So if you move back into your AWS account, click show on this, copy the secret key that gets presented and paste that in. I'm just going to use a dummy one for now. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we also want to set a profile on this. So we can use dash dash profile, and then we give a name to this account. So for this, I'm gonna use serverless user and hit enter. This is gonna set up some AWS things in serverless. And there we go. We can now use this serverless profile. So thank you for watching that video on how to set up serverless with AWS. We have set up a user on AWS. We've got some credentials 
and then we've used those credentials to create a serverless role on our machine. If you like this video, check out the video down here where you'll be looking at a new video in our serverless series. Or if you go down here, it's a free course on how to deploy a serverless API.